Let's start with the new MRR. On the inside, over 20 changes were made in the engine to achieve a new maximum output of 218 horsepower, which is 3% or 6 horsepower more than the previous model. The changes include the new geometry of the cylinder head channels, bigger airbox, new butterflies, new geometry of the intake valve, new pistons, new clutch, new spark plugs and a new exhaust headers for more power and torque of more than 100 Nm from around 6000 till 15100 rpm. And the list goes on. In conclusion, the engine is developed for more maximum performance in the World Superbike. The second big change for the new MRR is in the mainframe, which is now optimized for stiffness and flexibility. For this, we have new engine mounting points a weight-reduced steering head and a modified back section of the mainframe. This makes the bike even more flickable on the racetrack, so you never miss an apex. The fairing features the third generation of the M winglets, which now produce a maximum downforce of 21 kg at 250 and 30 kg at 300 km per hour, generating more stability and keeping the front wheel longer on the tarmac. The MRR comes available in two variants, light white Uni M Motorsport color and the M Competition package with carbon and forged parts in the Blackstorm Metallic. 